PGI Global uh, exit scam not that long ago, and what happened? RV Palafox and uh, a fellow by the name of Mark and a bunch of other guys and some of his top buddies. What did they do? They went out drag racing, right? Whenever you invest in a Ponzi, okay, this is what they do with your money. They live the exotic lifestyle. There's an RV, right? It's like a crazy frog video, man. Ding. And look at this here. 11 dislikes, right? People online are crazy. I don't know. Even if you give them information... This video was, what, May 26th of this year. PGI exit scammed. Then what happened not that long after RV and his buddies went drag racing in the U.S. with with money that they, you know, purchased brand new exotic Lambos and such, right, from investors who gave them or donated their money hoping that they were going to get money uh for doing nothing, right? Just joining uh, something promising 200% ROI. Anyways, today, everyone's wondering, hey, are we going to get our hard-earned money back? Because we heard the U.S. government uh, is looking into it, and they froze one of the websites, and some people are saying uh, RV is hiding out in Dubai. Maybe. Others are claiming, no, he's not, and he really actually is in the U.S. of A., right? Then I've seen other people reporting <laughs> reporting news like about PGI Global saying, yeah, I knew it's an exit. I knew it was a, a Ponzi scheme. But hey, look, at, come and join my Ponzi scheme, uh, other passive MLM system where you don't have to do anything and you could just get rich quick and easily. Just give us your money. All kinds of crazy stuff. Anyways, coming up in just a moment, uh, we'll get into all of this. Are you guys going to get your money back? Uh, are the good authorities over in the U.S. going to help you guys out and actually put an RV behind bars or not? Stay tuned. Hey, Rory Singh here from the powerhousemarketer.com as well as RorySingReviews.com. Anyways, welcome to the channel. Please find this big red button, subscribe, and also click on the bell notification icon. That way you won't miss out on any important information, okay? Um, now we're talking about PGI Global here today. Um, I'm going to get into all the goodies in just a moment here, but basically, in a nutshell, I made a quick video after the exit scammed uh, earlier right? I believe it was earlier this year. Um, exit scam, a whole bunch of people lost money. Uh, one fellow sent me some information on Facebook, as he does sometimes. He's on the inside with PGI and uh, asked me to check it out, Rory. Today he gave me some more information. We'll look into that in just a moment. But look at that here. 11 dislikes down here and seven like, 17 likes. It's like that when you... Um, you know, make, I've got a review channel. This is a review channel. People ask me to review stuff all the time. Sometimes I find that they're good opportunities. I've never heard of PGI Global until someone said, hey, Rory, can you do a review on it? And then I checked it out. And when I do a truthful review on it, they're saying, hey, uh, you're lying or you're, you're stealing or you're cheating because you're not telling us what we want to hear. And what most people want to hear is, yeah, we're going to get rich quick without having to do anything. All we got to do is donate our hard-earned money and we're going to get 200% ROI and that did not pan out. And what do the people do when they see my video updates showing that RV Palafox, any any Ponzi, there's another one called Hyperfun, going big time right now. A whole bunch of people are going to eventually lose out with that one. And what do they do with the owners? The owners are people. So people are people. And being as such, what do they do when you guys are handing over all of your money? Well, they're buying Lambos. They're buying McLarens, right? They are living the... On the beaches of the world, they are drinking out of coconuts, okay? And um, they're spending the money as it comes in. Of course, they take some of the money that comes in, they'll recycle it and pay out until they can't pay out anymore. But usually they, about 80% of revenue coming in 
seeing that there are Ponzi schemes, no products or services, no retail whatsoever, the only thing an affiliate or network marketing distributor can market is the Make Money ROI memberships themselves. So they keep recycling new investors funding to pay out the older ones until they can't pay out anymore and then they exit scam. In this video, RV and the gang were laughing their asses off and, you know, living the lifestyle that most of you want right now. So this is the, the website here that everyone was focused on a few days ago. Um, website seized. Then they have another website. So this one, it's seized. I'm sure most of you watching this video already are aware of this, but some of you might not be. So they got the website uh, being investigated, the company and the gang being investigated by the U.S. authorities. Joint venture, uh, U.S. DOJ, as well as the in the IRS internal holy shit internal revenue service right IRS is just gonna make sure that all of the Ponzi promoters in the US make sure you pay your taxes to the IRS and the DOJ they're gonna go out there and try and put people behind bars recover the funds right are you guys gonna get your hard-earned money back anyways stay tuned and let's and just keep watching let's see what we can make out of this uh, so this is another website here, Not Secure, PGI Global, all kinds of cock and bull stories here in this um, make money online world. I've seen a lot of people um, abandon legitimate affiliate marketing systems um, and they're like, hey, we can just, we don't have to, you know, create website traffic and get people to join our deal. We could just uh, live life and invest into the Ponzi scheme and they're going to give us 200% ROI. But guys, um, we live on planet Earth, and you always are going to get what you put out. Um, you got to earn the money, right? If you want to make money online, you got to earn it as an, uh, a marketer. Got to go out there and learn some skill sets of marketing. If you don't, you're going to keep losing money. Okay. Um, all kinds of stuff happening here. Who's this lady here? Claire. I will get into her in just a moment. PGI, as they were um, starting to collapse, they appointed this lady here. <laughs> look at her. Doesn't she look like a doctor? Right? Out with her children. I mean, look at this. Sunshine and rainbows. And she's got the picture still out there, but she's deleted everything. Everything. She was like the new CEO, as RV Palafox was trying to flee to Dubai. Some people are claiming that he's already in Dubai. Other people are saying, no, he's not in Dubai. Um, he's under house arrest in the U.S. Anyways, all while um, sweet, what am I thinking here? I mean, she looks like a doctor, right? And she deleted everything. She was the new CEO. And why was she appointed as CEO? Well, Helen Graham became CEO because she was the top affiliate. She was the top, based on what I'm reading, right? I'm not, this is stuff that I researched and they're claiming that she, she was the top affiliate for PGI. That means she got all her family and friends and then her Walmart list, the warm market, right? In the UK and maybe abroad, Got them all in, and she went ka-ching, ka-ching, right? All kinds of, 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 you know, shit's happening here on Earth. We've got uh, government, New World Order coming in, right? Illuminati trying to take over, trying to control your family, trying to control you, trying to get you guys jabbed, right? Getting you jabbed. Should I get jabbed? Should I? Don't get jabbed, right? All kinds of stuff happening here in the world of, uh, well, in our, on our on our planet today, and what are the the good folk doing? Well, they're recruiting other good folk in, and everyone's hoping that hey, we're all going to get rich quick. Dan, what does she do? She gets this lady in here, Clara Wilkinson, right? Clara Wilkinson. Uh, this is her right over here. Um, more uh, sunshine and rainbows. I mean, look at she looks like a scholar, right? If I seen this lady here, this is one of what. Uh, 
Google's crawled images uh, for this one came from behind MLM Claire Wilkinson that was uh, the newly CEO she the new CEO that was appointed by Palafox right this is crazy goes out there and gets uh, another Miss Sunshine here and all of them now delete all of their anything that has anything to do with them I mean look at her it looks like a scholar right academic scholar if you guys seen these these images you'll be like hey she looks like a doctor this one looks like like a scholar you'd be like I gotta join these people because they look like the real deal they look trustworthy right and then there's this lady over here look at her she looks like a realtor I live in Canada a lot of our I mean she looks like a realtor like a real estate agent professional apparently the original PGI global domain was owned by this lady here Sarah the Lord I can't even pronounce her last name we'll just call her Sarah D Sarah D from the Philippines who looks like real estate right so guys we got to put on our, our thinker when it is you know our income and our money and our financial future that we are trying to change okay um, so let's see what we got here PGI promised 200% ROI Everyone's like, yeah, we're going to get rich. Then PGI Global Fraud Warning in Philippines. Then Helen Graham appointed as CEO, the top PGI scammer. And uh, then Graham appoints her bud, Claire, as secretary, right, scholar. And now... Both Graham and her buddy, Claire Wilkinson, are doing everything they can to distance themselves from PGI, okay? And they're claiming all kinds of other stuff, but in a nutshell, they're distancing themselves from PGI because there's a lot of heat on PGI in the U.S. And they don't want anything coming back to them, even though they're all the way up there in the UK, in her queen, in the queens, the royal queens land out there. So what's going to happen now, guys, is the US of A, right? US of A, there's another uh, fellow crypto so-and-so, I think some of you guys follow his channel, and he actually just blatantly promotes Ponzi's. And what does he tell you guys? He's like, um, yeah, this looks like some risk, but hey, we are, you know, hardcore uh, entrepreneurs and we like to make money. We like sexy and we like speed and we don't like legit and only invest no more than you're willing to lose. Um, but what do most people, I mean, if, if you're getting payouts, something starts paying out in the beginning, what do you do? Well, most people would just up their, their, uh, deposits right if you put in like $300 and you start seeing ROI what do you do you put in a thousand some people put in five thousand some people put in ten thousand some people put in a hundred thousand and this is like the second time around and what's happening right now is yes the US is investigating they seized one of the domains they have other ones that are still up and running um, now the newly CEO is basically you know leaving the scene even though she's still out there on facebook uh, along with her buddy but they're distancing themselves so right now it looks like everyone who invested in pgi i don't think you guys are going to get your money back the u.s if they can seize anything right um they're going to do their best to get their hands on any funding that they can from any people that were promoting in the US or wherever whoever that they can touch get their long arm of the law onto okay but people from other places like the UK UK authorities are going to have to you look into that if you were in the Philippines well the Philippines authorities are going to have to crack down on promoters over there now with the US They've had other schemes that, like what, uh, BitConnect, USI Tech, 
and they didn't really do too much. Okay, they have some top promoters of um, BitConnect. I know one guy for sure is waiting to see what's going to happen. He's waiting for um, to see how long he's going to be sent to jail for. So what I'm seeing here is people were going into these ideas. We have the passive people who don't want to do anything for an income investing into Ponzi's because they are like, wow, well, this, this one here is saying I can get 200% and I don't got to do a damn thing. And it's very exciting. And then the promoters, right, affiliates, you guys might be saying, well, it's easier to sell PGI and systems, uh, these HYIPs, because everyone's into investing. But what do I keep seeing? I see, I keep seeing exit scam. I myself would be promoting Ponzi schemes, right, because of the rewards for myself, right? I would be joining uh, all of them and promoting all of them on the channel here. But seeing that they keep exit scamming and, and why, you know, because they're not set up, they're not legit and they're not real. And just like Jesus said, anything that's built um, on the sand is not going to last. And anything that's built on the rock is where your strong foundation lies, right? So I don't promote these because in order for me to make a little bit of money here and there for myself, I could actually make a lot. Um because I learned the skill sets of marketing like you need to right now if you want to make money online. But if you don't, then I would just stay offline and enjoy your lot in life. But at the end of the day, it comes, in, comes up as a Ponzi scheme. I don't think most people are going to get their money back at this moment in time. We're just going to have to see how it all plays out. Okay. But this is just common sense. A lot of people are abandoning their common sense. Um... And even intuition, right? Intuition is your bullshit detector, your gut telling you, hey, this doesn't feel right. But then logic, most people are logical thinkers. That's why a lot of people keep reading uh, information out there on the internet and, and, and saying, hey, it's gold because it's, it's published or we watch mainstream media and whatever they're telling us must be true because... You know, the big stations out there all saying the same thing, right? Logical thinkers are easy to manipulate. So you can't just be a logical thinker. You've got to use your intuition and your common sense. Stop joining Ponzi schemes. So any more information I get, as it looks, RV Palafox knew what was coming. This has not been written in stone, but he's most likely in Dubai. I know some people are claiming, yeah, he's under house arrest. I don't know. I think we would... Of course, the DOJ, Department of Justice in the U.S., has everything. It's under investigation, so they're not letting much information out right now. Um, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he's over in Dubai. A lot of Ponzi scheme people, right? Top promoters as well as administration and owners of company seem to be going there to the land in you all well, they're going to Dubai because long arm of the law you know the sheiks they love it seems like they love Ponzi schemes out there because um, they they like have huge events these Ponzi scheme companies in Dubai and uh, royal family will attend. That says something right there. The royal family. And then guys will come back and say, Hey, Rory, look, it's legit. I don't know where you got your due diligence, Rory, saying. It's legit. Look, one of the sheiks from the royals attended. So it's got to be. No, guys. That's not how we make decisions as adults. Okay. So any more information I get, and I'm sure more it will come out and surface. I will be sure to share at the end of the day, if you're one of these people trying to, you know, get something for nothing, hopefully the second time around that you lost your money, that you learned your lesson. If not, they say things usually happen in threes, and usually the third time, for whatever reason, it's a phenomenon, 
something usually explodes okay so hopefully for those of you understand you can't get something for nothing even if they're promising 200 300 percent roi even if you go to trust pilot and over there they're saying hey it's legit it's paying out right now right follow the red flags and use your intuition and don't just use logic saying hey it looks good on paper and so and so is saying it's good so i gotta get in because i'm seeing people saying hey we lost our savings our kids lost their their their, their uh, education savings that they were going to use other people are like hey our, our children just some of our kids just graduated and their savings they lost you're going to keep losing your savings if you guys keep looking to get something for nothing now the marketers out there um i don't think it's the best million dollar game plan for you right now to promote something that you deem as low hanging fruit right there is no such thing as a shortcut there are you know awesome systems out there go look for one that's legit roll up your sleeves and use ethics and you know realize there's no overnight success story right or else you're just going to lessons going to have to keep because with these type of deals like pgi what do you got to do you got to build a team you got to blow sunshine where the rain where the sun don't shine right make your team happy, tell them BS, right? And then keep trying to pretend that everything's legit and everything's going to get back. But what are they going to do? Even even if some of you went in and and told your followers or your team your team members that it's a Ponzi. One guy even said, "Hey Rory, why don't you, you know, promote the Ponzi's and tell everyone's a Ponzi." Even if you tell them it's a Ponzi, right? Why, where am I going with this? At the end of the day, have you ever seen the heavy hitters? They're out there promoting anything they touch seems to turn to gold. There's one guy who was promoting uh, Barack's uh, at that exit scam earlier this year, uh, and he almost wanted to get in a hyper fund. And then he did a review on it. I think his review's like in the number one slot, heavy hitter, right? And then he, what did he do? He didn't touch it. He didn't touch it because he got a lot of backlash. So you promote some, he and that was a, a heavy hitting marketer who makes uh, videos about, hey, look, look at my Ferraris that I buy from promoting Ponzi. He used to pr promote legitimate stuff. Now he's starting to go back to legitimate stuff because he started, you know, burning his own success story. At the end of the day, if you're a marketer, it comes down to you paying your dues getting those results online stop looking for low-hanging fruit that's just a carrot in front of you do you want to keep chasing that carrot find something set up for the long term and keep building and keep sending traffic to your link for the long term that's the only way that you can get results online and then eventually credibility because if you keep trying to put people into something that you deem as a low-hanging fruit system you're not going to build your story but you don't have to listen to me it's always best to learn by your own experience guys by your own experience anyways if i get more info i will be sure to let you guys in on it as soon as it comes up on pgi global okay take care